everybody, and welcome back to my Scrap Mechanics Survival Series. Uh, I'm going to start by saying I had no intention of recording today. Um, uh, I have a whole bunch of episodes uh, recorded uh, that I have to editate. Ed editate. Wow, that's a word. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> Edit. Um, and uh, uh, I was planning on doing that and, and just releasing things as I go. And then the uh, geniuses... Uh, slash uh, maniacs at Scrap Mechanic uh, made this update to the test branch uh, that my boy uh, Woody made a video about, and I'll uh, I'll a link to his YouTube channel in the description that that I just couldn't resist. I have to test this out. Okay, uh, but before we get started, I thought I'd start here and show you the two minutes of work <laughs> that I put into making a background uh, on my uh, title screen. At some point, I'm going to do a little more time and, and put a little more effort into this uh, pixel art picture of, of my logo of a, uh, a chicken being hung. Uh, this is Suicide Wing, in case you didn't get the reference. Anyways, also a clever use of euphemism to um, choke in the chicken. But anyways, we're going to gloss over that. This is what I got so far, uh, my channel's initials. Um, and, and just with three background boots. Actually looks amazing painted as black. I'm really pleased with that. Anyways, anyways, let's stop that. Let's also go ahead and glance over that, uh, uh, my world is called Data, and we're just going to jump on in and experiment with this new update. You're the master of your own creations. There's no right or wrong here. I'm Batman. I feel like everything's better narrated as Batman. All right, and we're loading in. Things are taking their time. Okay, so there's a there's a couple updates, uh, but the one I'm most interested in, in interested in is vacuum pumps. Now, apparently, there has been an update where vacuum pumps, such as da -da 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 -da, this vacuum pump right here. It will now uh, suck up uh, dropped items such as circuit boards and or component kits um, rather than just what it did before. So all it did before was it would suck up like um, harvestable crops or it would suck up um, fluids like water, chemicals, oil. Apparently now it can suck up dropped items. So I got a couple things I want to test, and it should be fairly simple. And then, at the same time, we're going to be doing some modifications to my green monster. Um, the steering system, uh, if you've watched any of my episodes, you've seen I've had several problems with. So we're going to fix that, and then we're also going to expand this, if the vacuum pumps work. We're going to expand this to have a, like a sweeper at the back here. Uh, to suck up all those dropped items that otherwise would we have to get out of a vehicle to pick up uh, But first we shall test that this uh, Update does as it is been advertised that it does so I need One maybe two of these and then I need an elbow Let's go make one Let's go make some metal two first and then we're gonna make an elbow. Ha! <laughs> I made two. Lovely. Okay. Well, we only need one, so we're only gonna grab one, and then we're gonna go on our merry way. Um, so, uh, I better take the ramp down so I don't get fall damage, because um, we're back in the test branch, so fall damage is fixed. I'm gonna remove that vacuum pump. We're going to add a straight section here. I think that's going to be enough. Let's see how this goes. So, so I'm just setting this up temporarily in this fashion. Uh, no, I, that needs to be more. Um, so that I can just test to verify the function of this new beautiful thing that is uh, um, the function of um, vacuum pumps. And then... Uh, I'm going to make a whole bunch of modifications to my green monster to take full advantage of this uh, update that is long overdue. Uh, and, and I'm not one to complain at the game. 
I am fully supportive of all the limitations of the game, uh, but I got to admit, this is a welcome change. This is going to um, make driving about the world much less tedious. All right. So let's let's first go test this out, and let's go find us a a bot and or a tote bot to destroy and suck up materials for. Still on strict follow cam from the last video. I suppose this should work for corn too. Maybe that's a simpler test. Let's 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 try that out. We run over some corn. Two is set up to my vacuum pump. Okay, you see the corn there? Let's see. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's so great. Why is it? Okay, so that's one thing I was curious about. So it does work. You can see that it's working. We'll go and look at my um, chest uh, later on. Uh, to verify that everything that should be sucked up is being sucked up. One thing that does not seem to be a thing, um, I was hoping that if they're going to make this update to these vacuum pumps, that they would maintain the three block area that's needed for these things to work properly. So, you see, we'll crawl, crawl up on this one. Not picking it up, not picking it up. See, that's, that's I mean, it's not one block away. One soil block away so oh oh no that got that that was pretty close okay 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 so that seems so okay so what I'm referring to is farming so another handy thing that I found from one of Woody's videos is that vacuum pumps work on a like three by three soil block radius so that's actually a nine by nine block radius because each soil plot is three by three. So, um, with this update, I think you have it looks like, unless I'm entirely wrong, it looks like you have the same range for sucking up loose items. Um, now let's just verify that we've sucked up these items. It's not going to be there because it's about full. So, it should be here. Look at that 11 corn. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Holy crap, it works. It freaking works, man. Okay, um, now the next test. These guys, right here, apparently, with this update, instead of, I mean, having the much um, uh, anticipated ability to farm and, and plant and farm pigment flowers, at the very least, so what he has claimed, you can suck these up with the vacuum pump. So that's exactly what we're going to test right the heck now okay let's go let's go all right so it should be the same thing we just sneak up on this flower and see if we suck it up oh oh <laughs> Okay, so uh, pro strat, you have to have your vacuum pump enabled, and I've got mine on the simple loop here. We'll enable that so you can see what's going on. So, um, if you just have it up hooked up to a, maybe I should test that. I don't know if it's just a switch. I think you can change that fairly simply. Yeah. So instead of that being connected to that and that being connected to that, I'll just connect number two directly to the vacuum pump, and I. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, okay. I think as soon as I change that, it's going to stop. Okay, all right. So that makes sense. So vacuum pumps, when they're outputting, like to the packing station, you have to have it on a logic loop to go continually. But if you're inputting, you do not need it on the logic loop. So that's cool. Okay. Okay, we've learned something new. Okay, let's uh, let's verify it with 100% certainty that this works. 
No noise on that one. I missed it. This one. Okay, got it. It seems like the limitation of this is, I mean, at least you don't have to get in your vehicle, but there's a certain um, rate at which these can activate, and that means that you have to go fairly slow over top of these items. Yeah, you can't just you can't just run over top of them. Um, it, I mean, that's the acceptable limitation. I, I'm, I'm supportive of that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, and not that I need it, but uh, the other item that they're apparently capable of picking up... I'm not the, I can just keep that going. Uh, the other item they're capable of picking up is, um, cotton. Um, so we'll, we'll, uh, we're also going to test circuit boards and a component kit drops from bots and stuff like that. Um, ooh, there's more corn there. Not that, not that I need it whatsoever, that's it. For me, I, I don't use corn at all. I use all farmable food and drink stuff. Um, but, oh, there's a haybot. Okay, let's see if, oh, and a tote bot. So he's definitely going to at least drop us a circuit board. Um, uh, apparently this, and we can verify it as well, and it makes sense that it doesn't, this does not include things like haybot arms. Uh, you can't suck those up. Um, it's a, I guess a different class of item, not something that can be sucked up by a vacuum pump, but, uh, everything else seems to be on, uh, on the table. Okay, so let's, uh, what is that? All right, we sucked it up. What is it? Circuit board. And that one's a circuit board as well. Let's see what we got here. Man, this this changes what you can suck up for those as well because you can just set like a mountable spud gun to um, you know get all these chests that are on the ground and then you can just pick them up with a vacuum pump. All right, well I got that one clearly. All right, let's make sure we can suck up this component kit and I feel like that's critical. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's get this tote bot. Yeah, I'm not gonna... okay. Let's pick up. The... I mean, if I can pick up this gas, I can literally pick up anything that's vacuum pump. Now that's dropped and dropped and has that green circle around it. Yeah, yeah, got the gas. Oh my god, this is so cool! All right, now this would not make sense to me, but we're gonna test it anyways. I've got a tote block head right here. Can I suck this up with the back of the pump? No, and I mean, that makes sense to me. I feel like that's very similar to like a Haybot leg, where it's kind of a physical item that's dropped in the world. It doesn't make sense to be able to vacuum pump those up. Um, but, uh, yeah, all those dropped items that have got like the green circle around them, and then yeah, we gotta test out. We gotta test out uh, cotton. Um, I've got a cotton field. I mean, co co cotton field. I have cotton availed in the wild uh, over in this area over here. So let's head this way. Let's see how this does. I don't even know if I have vacuum pumps that I can add to a system here. I'm gonna have to. I have to craft some. We should have materials for it. Well, we'll see. Okay. Um, this is all um, pigment flowers and stuff. There we go. There's a piece of cotton right there. Let's test to see if this works. That hay bot, or a tote bot here. I'm gonna kill it before it destroys all my tires or something. There we go. Oh, it works, man! It works. That's so awesome. All right. Okay. All right. So testing completed. Function exists. Now we have to go make a system that works for real life when we're driving around the world, killing tote bots and hay bots uh, with our vehicle and. We have to be able to pick them up reliably, and I think I've got a plan that should make that 
fairly consistent and without much um, uh, which uh, without much frustration. Let's just head back to base and, and see what we got to oh, oh dear God uh, to make that work. Yeah, already 15 minutes of recording. This, this is I, I might have to do another build video and uh, um, I'm thirsty and survival video. Uh, which won't matter if I if I edit this video first. This is the first one you'll see of this series. Even though this is this would actually be episode nine in my uh, survival series and episode two in my um, build series. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, when stuff comes up, you gotta you gotta jump on it and 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 I mean, it's just fun to do things as soon as they're available. Um, but that's that's the nature of an evolving game like Scrap again. It keeps changing every day, guys. If you haven't downloaded it yet, man, get on it. This game is so much freaking fun. Okay. All right, all right. So we're good there. Uh, let's look at the bridge. Uh, so we don't need it. Um, we'll drop this orientation at a logical orientation. Actually, I have uh, heat lace to drop off, so we'll do that. And then I have thirst I have to quench, so we'll do that as well. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That's one problem. Alright, that's good. That that's good it's up from there. Okay, so what we need. Oh, aside from water. Very, very critical substance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one other thing to check. Apparently there's a new option. Let's check that too. Okay, so there's a new difficulty bar that has <laughs> two options, uh, easy and normal. And uh, I'm not going to test this. I'll let you go look at Woody's ve uh, vehicle. Oh my goodness. Woody's video. Uh, it, it looks like the only thing that changed, at least in, in, in terms of Haybots, is the damage they deal. So with a hammer, um, Haybots take five hits from a hammer to kill. Um, in the easy mode, they still take five hits, but instead of doing, I feel like it was 30 damage per hit before, now it seems to be 20 in normal. Uh, that is, um, if you move to easy, it's uh, 10. Uh, per hit. I'll have to check one of my other recordings. I definitely got hit by Haybot a couple times. I'll make sure that my uh, assumption that's 30 per hit is, is correct. Um, so, uh, scrap a kettle is dumped into there. I am going to put this vacuum pump back where it should be and then we're going to do some modifications to my vehicle. So, uh, I want it facing up so I can see it. Uh, let's go. Let's head down. How are we doing for frames? 14 frames, that's not ideal. It's not ideal, guys, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I think I'll keep this on me because I got, I've got blocks I've got to take off in order to make this sucker work. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna move this whole back end. This whole, this whole back end. One eternity later.
Oh, I already like it! Oh, that's nice! Oh, one thing, I've, I've, now that I've changed everything, uh, I should set these, because these are all on max. I'm going to turn these down. These ones are going to have to be a little bit more fine-tuned. No, I think yeah, three, three looks good. It just starts to, you know, compress under the weight. Perfect. Yeah, no, that's good. Excellent. Oh, that's so much nicer without the beacon on top, too. Oh, I, gotta, I didn't change that. Not that it really matters right now, but we're going to change it anyways. Uh, it's a vehicle, and it's green. Okay. Oh, I love the sound of the level 5 engines. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> I'm liking it. It's it's absorbing the bumps a lot better. It's turning is better, more more predictable. I'm gonna have to do some flipping to see how that works. Um, oh, and I guess the other thing are those vacuum pumps on? Oh, that's a problem. I can't even see them. <laughs> I'm so far back. I'm gonna have to look backwards in order to see if they're picking things up. Hmm. Yeah, that's the way you do it, guys. Look at that. That's not too bad. They hit it at all? I think I did. I don't know. Not that I really... Well, I guess I do need circuit boards a little bit. But yeah, that seems to work. I'm pretty pleased with that. Oh, one thing I forgot to change. What's my draw distance at? Display. Frame rate 30... Graphics, here we go. Uh, oh. Okay, I did have to look. Okay, yeah, I was wondering if that was contributing to my frames, because when I'm in... Those multiplayers with Rock, his computer's so bad, I really don't need to, you know, I might as well have my draw distance on high so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, where on my computer, I, um, I gotta turn it all down because I got so much going on in my world. I love this thing! Oh, I love it so much more than I already did. This is great. That's got a proper turning radius. Still decimates Haybots with ease. <laughs> and then, once I've got all the danger out of the way, I think I've already got it. Did I already get it? I already got it. Yeah, look at that. How much thought has to go into that? When you drive slow, you can actually hear it on the vacuum, too. That's really nice. Oh, yeah. At some point, I'm going to have to set up another spud gun so I can just, uh, you know, press a button and, and shoot down on a chest. Um, anything else here I want to grab? Oh, paint flowers. Make sure the, the sweeper works on the... Uh, oh, man, that's a lot of paint flowers there. Yep, there we go. Yeah, you still kind of do have to have some care when you're going over things, depending on how lined up you are. If I have things in the center, I should be fairly quick to get things. Alright, that's weird. Is it, not all three working? They're all pointed up, right? Of course, uh, I didn't think to make some holes for me to be able to see that. Um, no. There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep one of those blank so I can actually see to make sure the arrows are pointing out. Look at that, they're all pointed up. Beautiful. How much we got in here? Oh, it's over here now. Always nice to have an extra chest. Oh, pardon me. Nice to have an extra chest as well. Yeah, very much does have to be under the envelope of the vehicle, though. <laughs> oh, 
I'm loving this. Oh, I'm loving this so much. Okay. Those lights back off. So it works! I'm, I'm pretty pleased! Uh, let's head back to base. Let's paint it all up. And then wrap things up for the day. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's so long. I almost want to call it a bus now. Look at how big that is. I could fill this entire area up in the middle here with like, with like 15 chairs. <laughs> oh, that'd be totally useless. Um, but yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me for another uh, episode. I'll probably then do uh, two out of this one. I'll, I'll do a build where I go through all the details and a, uh, um, uh, a time loop in my Survivor series, uh, survival series, uh, so you don't have to see all the boring details if you don't want to. Uh, but of course, you'll know this by now because you'll watch the episode to the end. Press the like button, subscribe, all those good things. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.